Hello and welcome to Football Daily, where today we've put together a team of players who are woefully underpaid when compared with their colleagues. From Liverpool to Bayern Munich, these players are shining at the highest level and they're doing it on the cheap. Let's get into it. Goalkeeper Aaron Ramsdale We start with Bournemouth's Aaron Ramsdale, the most used player in the Cherry squad this campaign. The 21-year-old who didn't have a single career league appearance until this season has played 28 of 29 matches to date, but is paid just £3,000 a week or £156,000 a year. That's less than Artur Boric, the club's senior keeper, earns in a month. Ramsdale has had to work hard for the money too. Bournemouth, as always under Eddie Howe, are a defensive disaster, allowing 15.6 shots against them per game, the second most in the Prem after Aston Villa. As a consequence, only Newcastle's Dubravka and Arsenal's Leno have made more saves this season than Ramsdale's 100, and he's been performing above expectation too, allowing 47 goals from around 50 expected goals. On the kicking front, he only succeeds with around a third of his long balls, but his short distribution is strong, misplacing just six such passes. Only one more than Edison and Allison. With his age, performance and nationality, Ramsdale's value has skyrocketed this year. And if Bournemouth beat the drop once the campaign resumes, they'd be smart to make their first task renewing their goalkeeping prodigy. Before we move on to our next player, just a quick reminder to, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss another great FD video. Defender Dan Axel Zagadou If your club has one of the world's most promising young defenders on their books, it might be advisable to pay them a decent wage. But Dan Axel Zagadou earns just £3.7,000 a week at Borussia Dortmund, the lowest in the squad with the exception of Leonardo Belerdi, who has one Bundesliga appearance for the side. Still only 20, Zagadou is yet to earn a contract upgrade after three years in Germany, despite becoming a key player for the Schwarzgelben this year. After losing 4-0 to Bayern and drawing 3-all with Paderborn in November, Lucien Favre switched formation from 4-2-3-1 to 3-4-2-1, a move which saw Zagadou return to the lineup. And since then, Dortmund have gone from conceding 12.2 shots a game to 8.4, and from allowing 1.5 xG to just one. The six foot five Frenchman has been integral to that improvement, making a strong 3.6 tackles and interceptions per match, but committing only one foul every two games, as well as using his height to great effect in the air, placing in the top 10% of defenders across the continent for aerial win rate. Also a solid passer, he maintains a 92% accuracy on his distribution and is surprisingly agile for his size, making even a tenfold increase on his current wage a bargain in our book. Defender Nicolas Sula The Bundesliga has led the way in its response to the global health crisis of 2020, with players and directors across the German top flight agreeing to give up some of their wages in order to help other club employees out financially. However, that'll be easier for some players than others, with Bayern Munich paying star forward Robert Lewandowski £275,000 a week, compared to just 52 k a week for their outstanding centre-back Niklas Sula. The 24-year-old played every minute of Bayern's first seven fixtures of the campaign before suffering a cruciate ligament injury against Augsburg. And while he's been out, Bayern have allowed 1.3 xG against them per game, a massive increase on the 0.8 they conceded per match in the previous campaign. In particular, they've suffered from losing Sula's massive 81% aerial win rate, the best in the squad, conceding as many goals from set pieces in 25 games this year as they did in the full 34 last season. With the campaign delayed and Sula now back in training, Bayern will be delighted to replace the increasingly limited Jerome Boateng, who has been dribbled past nine times in 16 appearances this year, with a defender who has been dribbled past just 15 times in 66 Bayern matches, while Germany will also be glad to have him back for the rescheduled Euros. Defender Mario Hermoso We could have found space for Barcelona's Clemen Longley on £45,000 a week, but instead we've plumped for Atletico Madrid new boy Mario Hermoso, who earns less than half that at the Wanda Metropolitano. At 19k a week, his salary is allegedly the lowest among the Rocky Blancos, and like Sula's, has been cut even further due to the global health crisis. With Atleti temporarily reducing all staff wages in a bid to ease the financial strain on the club. Hermoso is still playing his way into the first 11 under Diego Simeone, 
with 12 teammates earning more league minutes than him this term. And in Atleti's low block, his stats don't look incredible. He wins possession just over twice a match and loses more aerial duels than he wins. But only Savic and Felipe block more shots than him, and only the Brazilian can beat his record of 4.4 clearances per 90, showing that while he may not be aggressively stepping out of defence, he is usually in the right place when it matters. More importantly, he's 24 and left-footed qualities which should give Simeone more flexibility with distribution from the back as Hermoso matures. Now capped five times by Spain, it's clear that the people who matter rate the young defender highly. Wing back Trent Alexander-Arnold A shoo-in for the Premier League's Young Player of the Year award whenever the season is finished, Trent Alexander-Arnold is just 21, but already is a Champions League winner and soon to be domestic champion as well. The defender was born just 10 minutes drive from Anfield and has already passed 100 appearances for the Reds, as well as earning 9 caps for England, moving into the right back position after coming through the academy as a winger. Picking up £40,000 a week to play for his boyhood club, no one is going to feel sorry for Trent, but his performances this year have been world class. Jurgen Klopp has remade his side to get the best out of the Englishman, whose numbers look like a central midfielder's, with 70 passes a game and 5 long balls, both about the same as Jordan Henderson. No one gets close to his 2.6 key passes a match and his Beckham-esque whipped crosses and sensational set-piece delivery have brought him 12 league assists to date, behind only De Bruyne in the Prem, and 0.44 expected goals and assists per 90 minutes, the same as Jack Grealish and Mason Mount. Valued at £100 million by transfer marked nearly twice as much as the next most valuable right-back Ashraf Hakimi, TAA is in reality priceless. And in light of this, Liverpool must be dreading the next round of contract renewals. Wingback Alexander Zinchenko Underpaid and Man City don't tend to go together, but Alexander Zinchenko takes home just £20,000 per week at the Etihad, a pay packet above only Phil Foden's in the City squad. The Ukrainian, who joined from Ufa in 2016, was originally an attacking midfielder but developed into a left-back during the 2018-19 campaign. And though his performances were rewarded with a three-year contract extension, he hasn't seen a corresponding salary boost. And it's hard to see why not. In his new position, Zinchenko won his first 23 Premier League games, the best winning start for any player in the competition's history. And in fact, in 61 appearances for City, Zinchenko has won 54 times and lost just 5, an 89% win rate. In possession, he's unsurprisingly a useful cog, completing more than 80 passes a match and laying on 1.4 chances, the best record of any City fullback. But he's also competent defensively, regaining possession four times per 90 and improving his tackle success and aerial win rate from last year to this. It's possible he'll get sick of playing defence and want to return to his natural spot in attack. But if City want to keep the 23-year-old and Mendy's form suggests they should, a pay rise might be in order. Midfielder Giovanni Lo Celso Tottenham are notorious for their meagre salaries and Chief Executive Daniel Levy must be delighted with the contract that secured Giovanni Lo Celso's signature in 2019. The Argentinian is on just £70,000 a week in North London, not exactly tiny but the same as Serge Aurier and just £10,000 more a week than Ben Davis, who cost £11 million to Lo Celso's £30 million. The former Betis man has been the only bright spark in a dismal campaign for the Lily Whites, which saw their best modern manager sacked in the autumn and his replacement run out of goodwill by February. Having played as a 10 and a 6 with Betis and PSG, Lo Celso can defend and attack, shielding the defence with over three tackles a game, second in the squad, and putting opponents to the sword with 1.8 chances created. The best among his teammates after the departure of Christian Eriksen. Almost impossible to press thanks to a dribbling ability which has seen him beat his man over twice a match, he has somehow replaced both Eriksen and Musa Sissoko, connecting the team with strong running and incisive passing. While Mourinho seems determined to feud with Tongi and Dombele, the combination of the Frenchman and Lo Celso, as well as Kane, Ali and Son, should keep Spurs competitive for years to come. Midfielder Yuri Tielemans 33,000 pounds a week is hardly a slap in the face, but it's also a pittance in a Leicester side which pays over four times as much to Kasper Schmeichel and Jamie Vardy. And while those players cost under 1.5 million pounds each, 
Yuri Tielemans is the club's record signing at £40 million. In fact, the Belgian earns the same as Matty James, who at 28 has made 15 league appearances for the Foxes since 2015. For comparison, Tielemans has made that many since the beginning of December 2019. He has the seventh most minutes in the Foxes squad this year, playing more than Chilwell or Ndidi. And in 24 starts, the former Anderlecht man has contributed eight goals and assists, the fifth best tally at the King Power. Only James Madison and Harvey Barnes create more chances per match than his 1.5, and while his defending and dribbling are below average, he is the key passer in the team, getting on the ball more often than anyone except the back four. He's also yet to turn 23, making him one of six players under 24 in Leicester's 11 most used this season. With Champions League football already within the Foxes' grasp, and a team which will only get better with experience, the future is bright in the Midlands. Midfielder Ruslan Malinovsky Alongside Zinchenko, Ruslan Malinovsky is one of just four Ukrainians to have appeared in Europe's top five leagues this season, having moved to Atalanta from Genk in the summer. At £12 million, the 26-year-old is the Bergamo side's third most expensive acquisition ever and picks up £22,000 a week for his services. Not terrible, with 14 players at the club earning less, but still hardly mega millions, ranking behind Watford's Craig Cathcart. Malinovsky, a goal-scoring midfielder, is yet to cement a place in the side, thanks to Mario Pasalic, who has five league goals and five assists from the centre of the park this campaign. But when the former Shakhtar man gets on the field, he's been impressive. Only Muriel, Zapata and Ilicic get more shots per game than his 4.3, and only Ilicic and Papu Gomez create more chances than his 2.6, while he's also the second-best dribbler in the side beating his man nearly three times a game. As a result, he's got a solid return in front of goal, netting four times in six Serie A starts and getting a goal and an assist in the Champions League too, helping Ladea to the first quarter final in her history. Along with Robin Gossens and Adrian Temeze, Malinowski is another smart purchase for a side taking on the continent's finest on a shoestring. Midfielder Todd Cantwell Bizarrely, Norwich City's highest paid player in 2019-20 is backup fullback Sam Byron on £30,000 a week, 20 times more than Todd Cantwell. Cantwell, linked with Liverpool and Chelsea, reportedly takes home just £1,500 every seven days, or £78,000 every year. Less than Arsenal's shock round Mustafi earns in a week to head the ball straight up in the air. The Canaries are certainly getting their money's worth, with Cantwell contributing eight league goals to their relegation battle, behind only Timu Puki's 14. That's a great record for a 22-year-old in his first year in the Prem, and while Cantwell's underlying numbers aren't outstanding, there's plenty of promise. XG puts him at a goal involvement every three games, and he's shown signs of being a strong passer and dribbler with over 81% accuracy on his distribution, very good for an attacker, and 66% of his take-on attempts ending in success, a rate which will only improve as he gets stronger and more accustomed to the league. If Norwich drop down to the championship at the end of the season, which is starting to seem inevitable, Cantwell has surely done enough to stay up and find himself a salary more appropriate to his talents. Forward, Gonzalo Pacienza. Eintracht Frankfurt may not pay big wages, but they certainly help players get them. Sebastian Haller earns a reported £100,000 a week at West Ham, while Luka Jovic takes home 170 k a week following his move to Real Madrid. So current Frankfurt frontman Gonzalo Pacienza will hope that he has a major payday in his future, as currently he earns £15,000 a week. Not only low money for a striker, but a quarter of the salary of Eintracht top earner Sebastian Rode. That's despite the Portuguese leading the squad with seven goals and providing the second most assists with three. And if you're thinking that those numbers don't exactly look huge, remember that Paciencia has played just 1,200 minutes this season and has 0.8 expected goals and assists per 90, more than Sadio Mane. If he was on the pitch for the entire 34-game Bully campaign, his underlying numbers suggest he'd see a return of around 26 goal involvements. And yet, he's paid about half as much a week as Newcastle United's DeAndre Yedlin. Also a willing presser, ranking in the top 8% of forwards for possession regained, and a talented dribbler with 1.8 take-ons per game, 25-year-old Pacienza is an enticing prospect for any team in need of a striker. And it won't take much to tempt him. 
So that was our 11 of underpaid players. Of course, it's all relative. Footballers get paid a massive amount compared to most other professions. But let us know what you think in the comments below and if you have any other suggestions. If you enjoyed this video, why not click on screen right now as I'm sure it's a banging video. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.